It's been a week since Senate Republicans, dubbed the Oregon 11, left the state in a last-ditch effort to keep a controversial climate, bill, climate change bill from passing. Democrats have said that bill, HB 2020, is dead, but Republicans still have not returned to the Senate floor. Today, Fox 12's Marja Martinez spoke with Peggy Boquist, the wife of Republican Senator Brian Boquist. And she joins us live with an update on the absent senators and the threats Peggy says have been made against her family. Marja. Liz, Peggy says that Oregon State Police and the Polk County Sheriff's Office are both investigating separate threats that were made against her family. She also addressed those comments that landed her husband in some hot water. I'd just like to tell you the whole story. Here. Peggy Boquist is sticking up for her husband, Brian, one of 11 senators currently boycotting the Oregon Senate. The lawmaker and military veteran took some heat for comments he made after learning Governor Brown intended to send Oregon state troopers to force him back to the Capitol. No warrant. <laughs> send bachelors heavily armed. I will not be a political prisoner. Peggy says her husband may have overreacted, but she insists he was threatened by the executive branch and Democrats before fleeing the state. But if you walk out again, we will have you in leg irons, handcuffs, chained to your desk in an orange jumper. Peggy says her husband has since received two anonymous letters threatening violence against him. The Polk County Sheriff's Office confirms it is investigating. I can't even repeat it. The vitriol and the disgusting language. Since leaving, the 11 senators have each been fined $500 a day, and yet they have not returned. The leader of their caucus insisting they won't until they're assured HB 2020, a climate bill they oppose, won't pass. I think the Senate president made it clear from the podium that uh, House Bill 2020 isn't moving forward the session. There's nothing else that we can do besides say that. Senator Sarah Gelser, a Democrat, says both parties need to put politics aside so the legislature can finish voting on important policy and budget bills. According to her, if they don't do so by Sunday night's deadline and these bills fail, that will be because 11 people decided to walk out the door rather than delivering on the promise that we all made when we took our oath for Oregonians. Peggy disagrees, standing by her husband's decision to leave the state. He is doing what constitutionally can stop something that's egregious to our district. We're going to stop this bill or die trying. When I spoke with Peggy earlier today at around 2 o'clock, she confirmed that her husband is still in the state of Idaho. Now remember, the Senate only needs two of those Republican senators to return here to the Capitol in order to have a quorum needed to pass any remaining legislation for this session. Reporting live from Salem, Marja Martinez, Vox for Oregon.